He's a bad man, actually. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd just start off with a quick poem, actually. <laughs> um, I'm just looking out with a few ladies we saw before we came in here. Um, the street, it's a how not to act in such a street etiquette. We couldn't find the entrance here. So we were walking down the street, and three ladies went in a taxi. I said, you know, they were looking on the phone. I said, are you looking for the Portobello Social Club? They said, yes. And me and my friend there, who's six foot three, and we went, we'll just follow you then. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, we're not actually going to the Portobello Social Club. <laughs> who's the osteopath? Oh, fucking brilliant. L5S1, please, just... <laughs> Let's take I've asked a woman to manipulate me before, so... <laughs> uh, my name's James, lovely to be here. I'm from Glasgow, uh, which means... Thank you. If you're from, from Glasgow, that means I've got a pretty interesting personality disorder. <laughs> because if you're from Glasgow, you're pretty much bipolar. <laughs> Let me explain. Alright, you like each one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Glass regions. Well, two seconds, actually. Let me see. We'll start a second. Hold on, we'll start. Two, you ready? Hold on, I'll come back on. Right? Sorry, just checking my name. Um, <laughs> that's what the Apple Watch tells you, by the way. It's great for your self esteem. I got up in the morning and it says, Yes, you've smashed your goal. I fucking haven't even started the day yet. <laughs> right, we'll start. Right, I thought what I was going <laughs> I should have done that poem by the way, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, if you're from Glasgow, you love contradicting yourself, right? That's what we do. I'll give you an example. Glaswegians will tell anyone who's listening, and often anyone who's not listening and doesn't want to know, we will tell you how friendly we are. Oh, tell you how friendly we are, right? And then we'll swiftly follow that up by telling you how violent the city is. <laughs> makes no fucking sense, right? And then there's this rivalry between Glasgow and Edinburgh, isn't there? I mean, people from Edinburgh are thinking, well, there's no rivalry, to be honest with you. You're fucking miles ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we think it's a rivalry, right? Anyway, it all stems, all stems from jealousy, because Edinburgh's got the castle. Huh? What have we got? The Duke of Wellington statue. <laughs> so Edinburgh's most notable landmark is a 12th century World Heritage site. And Glasgow's most notable landmark is a piece of vandalism. <laughs> and what's worse, Glaswegians are more proud of that fact. <laughs> and, and when you think about this sort of, you know, the rivalry with Edinburgh, I mean, the, the, so, uh, we are deluded. We are fucking deluded by the way, because like Edinburgh, right, you've got the castle, right, magnificent. You've got the Royal Mile, the grass market. You've got the Edinburgh Fringe, the biggest art space in the world. You've got the fucking fireworks at Hogmanay. You've even got a beach! That fucking beach in the city! You've even got a fucking mountain to climb up and look out over the beach and the castle and the fireworks! And our only fucking response to that is... Edinburgh shit. <laughs> Now, before I come in here tonight, I'm not going to grass anyone up, right? Okay, that's one thing we've got going for us. So, <laughs> someone came up to me, right? It wasn't those women in the taxi that we followed in here. Someone came up to me and said, Have you got any pills on you, big man? I said, I do not. Uh, why do you ask? Well, I'm really sorry. It's just, uh, you really look like a drug dealer, eh? <laughs> right? And I'm not a drug dealer. I don't sell drugs. I, I mean, I'm in the sales game. I actually sell double blazing. Right, which means I still need to come to your house to sell you all my gear. <laughs> it's just a lot less threatening when I say I'm here to put your windies in. <laughs> and, and it's a hard job, it is a hard job because like people never give you a straight answer. And my advice to anyone buying double blazing would be the same to my advice to anyone buying drugs, which I do not sell. <laughs> just say no. <laughs> Because I don't see people, I beg them to say no and they go, no, no, James, we're really interested. We will phone you tomorrow. <laughs> you just need a wee night to think on it. We never rush into decisions, right? And then I never hear from them again. And I've got to spend weeks and weeks phoning these people and then eventually get someone on the phone, normally on a withheld number, and they all say the same thing. Hey, listen, I've had a bit of bad news. <laughs> Death in the family. <laughs> Can't keep the windows.
Which is ironic, because I'd have killed fewer people if I'd actually been selling drugs this week. <laughs> I'll tell you about 